get to do something that I just love to do. I get to do another interview. And if I could get you guys to come forward, it would be wonderful. <laughs> I'm excited to introduce this family, and I'm hoping many of you are already getting to know them. I'm going to pass this microphone here. This is a man who's actually quite comfortable with the microphone. Yes. Why don't you introduce us to your family? This is Colette. Hi. <laughs> and this is Laurel. Hi. And you are? I'm Dwight Lenhoff. And you, um, you've recently come here, but you have a strong connection to this church family. Would you tell us about that a little? Well, you know, Jenna, I was an only child for two years until my sister was born, and that's Charmin Bows. <laughs> and uh, my mother uh, attended here until uh, her passing some years ago, and it's, uh, I've got grandkids in the area, so it was a good place to come back to. It's, well, we're excited to have you back. And we're excited to have you guys. Now, tell me, where do you guys, are you going to school? What's, what's happening there? Walla Walla. Going to Walla Walla. What year? I'm a junior. You're a junior. And what are you majoring in? Elementary education. Wow. We have some wonderful teachers here. I'm sure we can, we can match you up well. <laughs> and? I'm going to CIA, and I'm a sophomore. All right. And we, of course, love our schools here. And you're just biding your time while you're here? Absolutely not. Uh, Uncle Rick uh, really keeps me busy. <laughs> and uh, one of the things I have is a, is a recording studio because I worked for many years for Life Talk Radio. But here, as you have been hearing, I've been uh, uh, interviewing some of you about your Christian experience and uh, doing other things uh, also for you. Yes, and, I uh, made use of his whatever, many talents whatever, in the radio area. Whatever we can do. It's great. It's great. Yeah, he, he's doing um, a recording for us for Children's Church. All the puppets skits for Children's Church this year are actually uh, the Bordeaux family recording their voices, and he is putting the recording together. So it sounds, I'm telling you, I'm listening to your story hour. It's wonderful when, when it's our own local people, and he has the whole setup and can do it. It's, it's kind of amazing to see it up there. It's up in the church office. And, right. and what do you do for Live Talk? Well, I, I produce uh, three programs uh, a week for Life Talk Radio. Now, I used to work for them. I'm retired, so now it's a hobby, which means it costs me money instead of getting paid for it. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it, and in a couple of weeks, Pastor Jim and I are going to talk more about uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, and we'll, we won't get into that now. You worked at Big Lake this summer? I did. What did you do at Big Lake? I was a counselor. Wonderful. And did you, you enjoyed that? I loved it. Okay. And did you go to Big Lake this summer? No, no, she didn't. It was a wonderful experience with a U-Haul and Laurel and a cat, 2,500 miles. I, I met her just after that, and I, you know, the, she looks more rested and happy now. <laughs> and she had to survive quite a bit. Yeah. Of and so does the cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, wonderful. We are so glad you guys are here and part of our community. Please, if you haven't met them, take the time. They are just a wonderful family, easy to talk to, as you can see, just fun to be around. And so take some time to meet them and introduce yourselves and welcome them to joining our church family. It's a great church family. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a friendly church. It's a family church. And from all of the outreach into the community, it's clear to me, this is a church that people in the community will say, oh, Meadowglade, that's the church that helps people and cares about them. Amen. Anyways, thank you, Jenna. Before we go, how can I pray for you all? Uh, about life. And all that happens, regardless of our age or youth. And it, should I say y'all? Is that is that more correct yeah. from yeah. where you're from? Yeah. Okay. By the way, uh, Colette's going to, in January to Thailand as oh, part of the Walla Walla Student Missionary Program, and she'll teach them English with a Southern accent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, please let us know how we can better support you in that. That's what we're here for. We love uh, you know to support our student missionaries in any way that we can. So let's have prayer. Lord, we are so blessed by this family that they have come here, that they um, are joining us and bringing new things and new ideas. Let us be a blessing to them as well. Live through them this year with all the life changes that you just make them grow to know you more and your love is more well known because they have come here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.